Double Eagle. I'm Ms. Landacre, and it's time for STEM class. First, I made STEM packets for all of you, and you'll be able to pick them up at the school sometime in the next week or so. Look for an email from Principal Friedman about how and when you, your family can do that to get your packet. Once you get it, keep it safe because you're going to need everything in it for future STEM videos. Today, I have a science mystery for us to solve together. In science, when there's something that we don't understand, we try to figure it out using the scientific method. And the scientific method starts with a question. The other day, I noticed a lot of ants crawling on my bell pepper plant. Hmm, what were they doing there? That was my question. I can use the knowledge that I already have about ants to see if that can help me with my problem. I know ants are living things, and living things all need a place to live and something to eat. Are ants living on this plant? Let's go take a look. Here's the plant, and let's look at the ants on there. What are they doing? If you can find an ant, maybe follow it around. Are they like making a home and you know, laying eggs and digging holes like ants do? Eh. No, they are running all around like crazy. So I don't think they are living on the plant. I think they are getting food from the plant. That's my hypothesis. So to test the hypothesis, let's examine a little more closely. We'll observe, we'll look and see if we can find out, are they eating food on this plant? Hmm. At first I thought maybe they were eating the bell peppers. So I looked closely at the bell peppers but I don't see any bites taken out of them. The ants don't even seem to be interested in the bell peppers. They seem to be more interested in the flowers. So if we take a close look at one of these flowers, let's see what is in here. Oh, the ants are getting all excited. Oh, notice next to the flower. There are some tiny, tiny little bugs. Can you see these? We have some clues about what these bugs are. They live in Albuquerque. They're with some ants and they're on a bell pepper plant. So I did some research. I used the internet and some books and found out that they are probably aphids. Now, aphids like to suck the juice out of plants. And after they suck out that juice, they squirt out a sweet liquid that ants love to drink. They, they call that liquid honeydew. So uh, it looks like these ants are getting honeydew from the aphids that are on my pepper plant. And that's why the ants are on it. They don't care about the pepper plant. They are interested in the honeydew that the aphids are making. That's the conclusion of our scientific experiment today. These kinds of mysteries are all over if you look for them. So your assignment today is to observe and then find a question, a science mystery. I want you to find an interesting place. Could be outside, could be in your kitchen, could be the room you're in right now. You want a place where there's something is living that you can observe and watch. Draw and write about what you observe for five minutes. After you observe, Think of a question or mystery about what you noticed. It might be a question like, where did these seeds come from? Why is the bird making that sound? Or why is the grass longer on this side than on this side? You might be able to answer your mystery with research and observation, or you might not. Either way, post your question on Seesaw or Google Classroom under this assignment. Whether you can solve your mystery right now or not, Asking questions and making observations are part of the scientific method and part of what can make us better scientists. All right, here is a five minute timer for you to go out and observe. If there's really nothing interesting anywhere around where you are, I have a video of my pet goldfish, but hopefully you have something more interesting than that that you can observe.
Okay, that's five minutes. Draw or write about what you observed if you didn't already, and think of a question or mystery. And don't forget to stay safe, have fun, and keep observing.